Hey, um, I made this clip uh, turning uh, one guy into three in uh, Sony Vegas, and um, a lot of people ask me uh, how I did it, so I think I'll make a tutorial for it now. Um, first of all, I need to tell you that it was actually done in uh, Sonic Vegas uh, 4.0, which is um, an old version of, uh, of Sony Vegas. I think it was before. Sony uh, bought the rights to the program, but um, hopefully it'll still work in uh, in the newer versions. I don't know if they changed the interface uh, a lot, but I doubt it. Um, this tutorial is not meant for complete newbies of the of the Vegas program because um, you'll probably need to know the basics uh, in order to be able to follow. Okay, let's start the tutorial. Uh, of course, we start by uh, importing the, the raw footage into uh, Vegas. Um, there are some things that uh, need to be right in this um, in this clip before you can do anything with it, really. Um, the background around the actors uh, has to be pretty um, pretty calm. You can't have, uh, you know, a tree, uh, you know, moving a whole lot because of the wind. Then uh, you won't be able to achieve the right effect. And when I say actors, I mean um, <coughs> sorry. Every time a guy uh, pops up, I call him a new actor. So that means um, the guy in the middle and on the left and on the right, even though it's the same person, uh, there are three different actors. Also, uh, the, probably the most important thing is that uh, the camera is 100% uh, stable. You don't have to use a tripod, uh, but you do have to at least place it on a hard surface which uh, doesn't move um, and the actors can't overlap uh, it's pretty important that they aren't too close to each other uh, yeah, yeah, they can be close to each other but if they are too close to each other it will be a little bit hard to, um, to actually do the effect and if you want to um, add any effects to a clip like uh, blur or film grain or maybe um, if you want to uh, crop the image uh, you have to do this right when you um, import the, the raw footage or you can wait till you uh, render the whole effect shot uh, because if you start doing it with all the small clips it'll probably, it'll probably end up uh, looking strange okay let's get to it uh, you start by splitting the clip up into as many parts as you have actors. In this clip I have three actors, so of course I'll have to split it into three clips. Uh, you start by placing the timeline marker just before the uh, actor starts acting. Um, then you press S to split, and then you place the timeline marker uh, to the point where he's done acting, or maybe a little bit before he's done, so you won't won't have to see him go out of character and you press S again to uh, to split and then you do this uh, yeah as many times as you have uh, have the actors um, after you've done that of course you uh, delete all the um, all the footage that uh, that isn't relevant so you'll just have those three maybe uh, core clips uh, left um, the first clip in this uh, this tutorial we have the the actor on the left. This is uh, clip A. The second clip has the actor in the middle. This is uh, clip B. And the last clip in this tutorial uh, has the actor on the right, which is uh, this is clip C. But uh, we won't be using that in this tutorial. Um, of course, if you don't have three actors, you'll just have a clip uh, A and B. And if you have more than three actors, you'll have A, B, C, D, E. Now we take uh, clip A with the actor on the left and make sure it's uh, all the way at the beginning of the timeline. Uh, after that we drag clip B with the actor in the middle beneath it. Now press the little effect button on uh, the right side of clip A or you can uh, right click on clip A and choose uh, video event effects. After this uh, effects window pops up and um, you should choose the effect called cookie cutter double click on that and press OK. Now the cookie cutter window pops up 
uh, it's important at this point that the time marker is uh, at a place where the actor in uh, clip A can be seen. Uh, maybe he doesn't even leave the picture uh, in your clip, but he doesn't mind, so it's important for, for me to know where he is. Open the preset uh, menu in the top of the cookie cutter window and select uh, picture in picture. Now you can see uh, a box in the monitor and uh, the actor on the left, that's clip A, has disappeared. Maybe uh, instead you can see the actor from uh, clip B, but um, not in my example. What you need to know when using the picture in picture feature is that uh, the clip you apply the effect to, which uh, was clip A, is the one that's inside the box. Everything outside the box is uh, clip B. Now you drag uh, the box in the monitor around using the brown square in the cookie cutter window. You drag it uh, to where the actor on the left becomes visible. It'll just suddenly pop up when you place it in the right uh, place. It's very important that uh, the box is not placed anywhere where uh, the actor from uh, clip B goes because then he'll suddenly disappear. You might uh, want to make the box on the monitor smaller or bigger, uh, which can be done by adjusting the size bar or by choosing another shape. And this one will just go with a, with a standard size rectangle. What's important is that uh, the actor from clip A at no point leaves the box. Um, the box has to be big enough to, uh, c to contain him. And uh, it's, of course, equally important that the actor from clip B never enters the box, because then they'll suddenly disappear. When you think you're done, watch the clip and uh, adjust if anything's wrong. Um, when everything's perfect, you uh, go to the cookie cutter window and change the Borner value to zero. Now the line of the box will uh, disappear, uh, but the box will still be there, you just can't see it which is of course what we're try trying to achieve. Now close the cookie cutter window and uh, make clips A and B evenly long. Finally you uh, double click on the gray area below the two clips uh, to tell the program that this is the part you want to render. Um, if you don't do this the program will uh, render everything uh, on the timeline. That means if you have a clip C uh, at some pl pl place it will also render this. The render clip in the, this tutorial will just call um, effects clip 1. After rendering effects clip 1, we uh, delete clip A and clip B and import uh, effects clip 1. If you have clip C with an actor on the right, you just start all over, all over again, replacing um, clip A with clip C and uh, clip B with uh, effects clip 1. And that's pretty much it. I know there are other ways in uh, Vegas to achieve the same effect, but uh, this is the method I prefer.